Okay, so what the pull hell it up. Is that? Okay, do it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> people's this should do Lee Solo and I'm out here this evening doing some long exposure photography specifically steel wool and fire flame kind of action things and it wouldn't be fun if I didn't do this with my boys so I made sure to connect with uh, my boy Blake Nicholson and Dave Worden the two photographers who actually introduced me to this whole steel wool thing and the ways that they actually spice it up and make it different than anybody else and I really have always appreciated that that's something that I get to do with these guys so I wanted to bring you guys along before I get out of Vancouver as I keep mentioning it uh, I'm gonna miss these guys you know so I wanted to make sure I got it in did a video with them and while steel wool photography might have already had its peak in limelight and things we do a little bit of different you know and uh, so I thought I'd bring you guys along for this video tonight and whatever we get up to we're bound to get some cool shots and have some fun adventures and I'm just gonna try to shoot as much in the dark as I can. So let's go see what the boys are up to and get it in. At 250. Thanks, man. And I, it got Ooh. me so fucked up. Thanks, Flavor Dave. So one of them's a thousand milligrams in, in the pack. That's what I'm talking and about. This is one gummy in there and it's 500. I'll just do all of it at once. So I hope he doesn't do all of these at once. <laughs> you know I will. What the normal ones are like two minutes or a minute, 90 seconds. That one's like what three I, minutes? I haven't done the X one, I think that just means extra smoke. Okay, so, it's, so it just puffs a lot. Yeah, it should be quite a bit. Oh man. Green That's... goblin. Wow, okay. Don't even think about it. Oh, Flavor Dave's all masked up. We ready to do this next round of smoke bombs. Yeah, let's do another one, I guess. Oh, do I want, I feel like my fingers are in nice shape right now, I don't. See your finger. Oh yeah. Peace, bro. It's extra long, isn't it? I don't remember you having something that long. Oh, it's crazy. Shit. Yeah. We got Dave in his little cart. Get your cart full of tricks. All right, so we've been out shooting with smoke bombs and things like that with my boy Blake, who's actually getting to shoot the camera right now, and my boy Dave Warden. And we are now going to shoot what we've been doing for many years in- Spin Doctors the, back in the action. Spin Doctors back in action to do some steel wool. Uh, long exposure, I love doing long exposure photography of all different kinds, but steel wool just is like high action. And like, and it's an excitement and kind of thing to do, like to, to press the shutter and like to 20, 30 seconds later to see what you got. Yeah, you know it's always I mean? something different, right? So totally. 
It's, there's an exhilarating moment you get to that like, right splash right in front of the camera or something. It's always about the splash in front of the camera. Yeah. So, yeah. so that, that, what I wanted to do, I've, and I've had a lot of people over the years talk to me and ask me, like, what the hell are you guys doing out there? I wanted to give away some of like the, the tips and tricks and maybe secrets of what craft men doesn't want to know, the world to know, but it's okay. We're going to let it be known tonight uh, about some of these things that were just the simple tools of really how to make this cool effect with your camera and uh, a few things. So one of the main things to do is steel wool itself. I mean, it's for sanding and things, but it's the quadruple zero, right? Like that's the, the main thing is, I don't know, we have, yeah, the, we don't have the pack. The grade it, of it, you want uh, quadruple zero, so that's the finest grade, because it just burns better. You get a bunch of this stuff, which is really cheap, it's only like five bucks a bag, and you just take like your good old kitchen whisk. They need something to hold it, so that works good. That's what we've learned to use over the years, and like a dog leash or any kind of rope or something like that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stuff this inside of there. but. To make it more exciting, you can add, you know, other precious metals and things. This is a roll of magnesium. You can get it on Amazon, I guess. And uh, yeah, you just break it up though, and you kind of get it into this. And it breaks really easy. You just kind of snap it like that. Put a bunch of pieces in here, kind of however many you want, right? You get a shitload in there. So when you see pictures of steel wool, and uh, you'll see all the orange sparks. But then you'll see like blue, or sometimes they're, they're white, like uh, depending on the exposure of it. Kind of dark or more bright streaks. That's uh, the magnesium, right? So stuff it in like that. I'm gonna pull little bits of it out here. That's probably good enough. Basically, it's all you need. And then once you start spinning it, that will start going and it'll just, the embers will burn because of the air as you're spinning it, right? And then it just, starts flying off so causes a whole lot of excitement so uh 20 second 30 second exposure depending on where you are we just need to find a darker place to probably shoot this so we have an idea down there we're gonna get out of this light so all right let's see what let's we got it. let's do it So it's a little dark out here right now, but we're set up for our next shot on some uh, abandoned train tracks. We're about to do the steel wool, 30 second exposure. I think we're at like F5.6, uh, a two second timer, so that you can, don't shake that thing. I think we're all ready to go, boys. You betcha. Oh, cops are already after us. Let's go. What is that? I'm gonna stand back just in case, please. Right at me. Uh -huh. Is there a train? Stop it. Yeah, okay. There it is. Oh, oh, good. Uh, what? So dehydrated, bro. Fuck. Fuck. My foot is fucking cramped up so bad. Okay, so we had to leave the uh, abandoned track area. We're gonna move on to one last shot with this magic and my boy Dave and his fire stick and the fire flames that he likes to do. Uh, it's just something that I have to share with y'all. So let's go see what he can do, this cool little alleyway and uh, a whole bunch of lighter fluid. That's it, that was the show for the night. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed our smoke bombs and steel wool and fire and street photography and really it was just fun to shoot with the boys and get out here again. Do this something we used to always do and one last time before I get out of Vancouver. Have a good night. Check us on the next episode. Peace. Peace. Peace.